Welcome to the hot and spicy. How are you doing? God, it's a warm day. If you have a bit of colour on the old skin, yeah. Sorry about the lighting if it's not good. Um, sun is strong and it's, uh, anyway, I've played about with a few settings. It should be okay. Right, a new ribs for me. These are short ribs and you're telling me they're short. <laughs> Tesco's. And they're New York style barbecue ribs. So come in a, like a rack like that. You cook them 20 minutes. Then I put some re uh, salt and pepper reaper powder on. And then you put this sauce on, barbecue sauce, on the top. Oh, that's what I did. In the oven for five minutes. Ready. This is a new sunblush uh, tomato bread from Aldi, I believe think it is. Mrs H, thank you. Uh, these were new in Tesco, in the freezer bit. They're hot and spicy bird's eye uh, onion rings. I'm not sure if I've tried them before. Whew, it's warm in here. Uh, give them a go. I've salted them. And then we've got some fresh bird's eye chilies, if you can see them, in the rice. Just chopped up. Pepper. And then mixed in so that that should have a kick to it beer we're going with 4.2 percent kuru evan evans and um where's this made west wales llandelo evan evans brewery roast mine street llandelo um 4.2 percent and uh kuru means beer no, the Welsh beer, yeah, the Welsh beer, brewed and bottled in Llandelo. Thank you, Llandelo. So, come on, let's do it properly. Good week. Oh, here we go, started already. I hope. I hope so. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Look forward to seeing you, you know. If this is slightly late, I like these to be on here, UK time, about 7pm. But it might be 7.30ish. I hope it's not towards 8. But anyway, it's my fault. I was late finishing. Look at that. Cheers. That is good. Like a good pint of bitter. There's a good head on it and there's good carbonation in that. Listen to the expert. <laughs> right. Where are we going? Should we go for a rib? Right, here we go. God, they're small. I doubt New York would have ribs this small. <laughs> Well, the meal. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Um, mm. There's a kind of, well, it's barbecue taste, but there's a, <clears throat> a sweetness to it. Mmm. That is nice. Have we got a... Have I remembered everything? I can't believe I've remembered everything. I haven't put this lamp on because it's too sunny to see it, I think. Wow. So there's a good kick on that, but not just, I mean, just in the mouth. There's coat in my mouth. That's the reaper. We'll give these... Uh, Bird's eye chilies. Fresh. Oh yeah. Fresh chip. They're only small but bike they've got a good kick to them. They're the hottest I could get in the supermarket. Sometimes they have the scotch bonnets. Oh so lovely. You can't beat a fresh chili. 
taste, I like it. Let's try these. This would have been ideal weather um, for a barbecue, although the wind is a bit cool. You know, it's one of them days it looks beautiful and then it's a... These taste beautiful. Cook nicely. The salt is a nice addition, but there's no heat for me. Um, just a normal onion ring. I think whether <coughs> somebody else would find any heat on it, I don't know. Zero scale for me, but nice. Now you have him. I've been enjoying fresh chilies in um, food lately. Just chopped and put in. Ah, it's gorgeous. I'm getting no fresher than that. Try this bread in a minute. I mean, they look nice enough. Don't know if you can even see that. But... Hmm. Come off the bone. There's something about eating off the bone, which uh, I don't know. It's just so enjoyable. Going back to when we were cavemen, as I mean. <laughs> oh, let's try this. Mmm. Mmm, that's nice. It's slightly more drier than the butter, the, you know, the old butter flatbread. Um, for that reason, I suppose. But the taste is lovely, nice and light. And there's proper tomato, either puree or sauce in there. Mm. We have to wash your meal down with. I've had this before, it's nice. Oh, I've just had an idea. I'll try and keep this short. <sighs> yeah, right. The shorter, the quicker it'll go up, so it won't be as late, hopefully. So get on with it, Paul. Mm -hmm. There's a good combo here. Reaper powder on that. These are not hot, by the way. Standard, standard from the shop. Just Reaper powder on them. Cold to my mouth. Gorgeous taste. Bit of a. <sighs> And then you have some of this chilli, fresh chilies from the rice. There's some pepper on there. Um, so you can fresh chilies, heat, and this adding together. And it's, uh, they're both fighting to be the winner. Mm. Beautiful. Different sort of dinner tomorrow. But if it's a new recipe for me. Um, somebody I work with so I tried it from a website with a 
Oh, I've got his name wrong. Something on Nick or a website. He follows recipes. They have recipes. Oh, that's nice. And um, I'm going to try it tomorrow. I'll tell you about it in a minute. I'll tell you all about it. I'll say the nice onion. Yeah, he, he cooks a whole chicken, foil on in the oven an hour, brings it out, foil off, gets some curry paste, coats the chicken. I think you season it first, salt and pepper, and then coats the chicken. Put some peppers in, potatoes. Um, what is it, potatoes? Peppers, I think that's it, what he did. Back in the oven with no foil. The chicken crisps up, the paste sort of goes into the skin. It's still crispy, he said, but it's oh, it's lovely. And then you get it like, um, it infuses in the sauce of the potatoes and the peppers have this sort of curryish sauce. And then you serve it. Um, you can have as much as you can have rice with it. You can have whatever you want, but there is potatoes in it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not doing a whole chicken, I'm doing chicken thighs. Um, I'll salt and pepper them, put them in the oven, uh, I'll check about 40 minutes with a foil on, and then bring them out, put this, because um, I usually marinate things you see like that for a curry, but it's not a curry, it's curried chicken. And then put this, I have the hottest paste I could find today was madras, but uh, what I'll do is, I'll put some Wow, look at this. Madras paste and some a sprinkling of that reaper powder again. That's a lovely stuff that is homemade. Um, and I'll give it that kick for me. Um, about three thighs. Uh, and then I'll put some peppers in. I might put some bird's eye chilies in around the side. And uh, potatoes. I want to put some tomatoes. That'll give some liquid then, because there's been a lot of water in tomatoes. And then when the curry paste, some of it drops in, that'll become a nice sauce to serve the chicken with. So curry chicken tomorrow. That's all I had to say, curry chicken, but no, no. Round the mulberry bush. Details, method, ingredients. I don't realise I'm doing that sometimes, sorry. Saying how I'm doing it, what I'm doing. <laughs> I went to the uh, binocular shop last week. I tell you what, they see me coming. Where was I? Oh yeah, I went to the opticians. Do you know who I bumped into? Everybody. I know, I know. That's why I'm not looking at you when I say... They put two or three bird's eye chilies, only small. Oh, they've got a nice little kick to mm. Right. Mm. Any plans to this weekend? Are you working? Thanks for your service if you are. No, I'm going to relax a bit tomorrow.
cooking this meal, obviously, curry chicken thighs. Mm. Unusual for me to have something hot on a Sunday, but um, oh, I really fancied it. I nearly had it tonight, but I thought, no, it's a new recipe. So I want to spend time. I mean, it's easy, but just I want to spend time, you know. Um, Taking my time doing it and sussing things out. Fresh chilies. Lovely. This is sunny where you are. You swear we're really into spring. But what was nice uh, this morning, I noticed the ramsons are growing lovely, uh, wild garlic. Just leave them a bit bigger, say next week. And the, them are the leaves, because they're, they're, um, the older they get, the stronger they get. But these are nice and they'll have this lovely garlic, oniony taste. Um, but they'll be, you know, so fresh and young, beautiful. So these are nice, this bread, because when I seen it, I thought it was a bit drier looking. I'm not sure if I enjoy it, but the taste is lovely. There's tomatoes, herbs in it, and proper tomato sort of puree or sauce on that. So thanks, Mrs. H, for, well, she's not there, she's downstairs, but um, thanks for buying it. For me to try it. These heat, gosh, that's burning out. Rib, um, not a bit gimmicky for me, but then again, I somebody with a normal palate may say, Well, there's a bit of a kick. I don't think anybody find them hot to be honest. Um, be interesting to know if somebody has found them hot, but they're just a normal onion ring for me, but worth buying, they're nice and tasty, but they're not hot and spicy. I've got three ribs left. This is going on again. Thanks for watching. If you follow me on Paul H Films, see you in the morning. If not, see you in the next video. Sorry about the bad jokes. But um, thanks for not laughing. <coughs> yeah, you take care. Have a great weekend. If you have something to eat and drink, enjoy it. Stay safe. And yeah, see you in the next one. All the best. Bye-bye.